Hello YouTube, it's Balamore here, back again with more blind gaming. <clears throat> Today we are playing The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine DLC for the PC, of course. We're on part 53 of our series. Hooray! We are doing a different spec. Um, I'm going almost all potions and decoction builds, so we're going more, much more tanky. We're still keeping up the DPS. Let's just run over the equipment again. I kind of like showing that off to you guys because I never know when you're going to flip in the video. So, as you can see right now with our decoctions, um, we got, you know, about 11,000 hit points. That's not too bad. And um, we're running two sets. The only one I really care about is the woven armor set because that allows us to do, um, let's see right here three oils at once and then we have a skill that and I'm still playing with my build I'm always switching it up but we got to keep it nice and uh, nice and new squeaky new now and then but uh, we take um, less damage from whatever oil we got on so if uh, like we have vampire oil so vampires are gonna do less damage to us anyway so we're gonna take less damage from most enemies plus we're gonna do more damage to them but uh, this is the only bonus I really care about now. This was just kind of one when I was doing a bomb potion build, uh, which was recently, and I wasn't using bombs often at all. And I said it's kind of a waste, so even though that looks really good, the bomb damage still didn't play out well. So I may not have been um, specking correctly, but we weren't using bombs. I, I prefer swords. In the beginning, it was all about the uh, Igni sign, but uh, I like changing it up more witchery, you know, with the swords and the oils and the toxicity. So we've got our potions here. Let's just show off what we're using by default. Of course, Swallow for a regen. Giggity. And we've got our um, Oriole. I think that's how you say it. And that's that poison immunity, and it heals you when you get hit with poison. That's like a big must in this game, even uh, not on Death March, which we are playing on. Um, we're doing the uh, black blood for the necrophages and vampires. It's a little extra damage. And uh, of course, Thunderbolt. I don't even seem to be, I don't seem to use that a lot. That only really kicks in when it's raining outside. So I don't know if cloudy days do it as well, but I figured, you know, throw that on there. So as we use potions, you're going to see right now I have three decoctions running. The other two are, oh, I better go back real quick. Um, the the rune right um, placed the pre preservation rune, and I'm beginning to really enjoy those. It gives you extra armor and damage permanently. So in your vineyard that you get, you get an armor table and a grindstone, and you only have to use it once unless you switch out your weapons. Um, it keeps a permanent armor table bonus and a grindstone bonus for your um, character and just by default where what I think we were at what a little over 4,000 DPS and uh, now we're down to 20 2471 but um, I think overall with the regen we're gonna have every time I use a potion it's going to um, add another potion for free anytime I crit it's gonna add a decoction up to three of them so I figure between decoctions and potions galore, we should be rocking it. And I think this will be much more stable, taking much less damage. Um, we're still learning. We got our whirl going. But it takes a little bit to wind up and start, you know, casting the whirl. So um, there is a rune you can put on that increases the range of whirl. But I didn't think that was going to be as beneficial. So anyways, without further ado... Let's do this. We're on the main quest. Uh, we've uh, completed all our secondary and treasure quests up to this point. This again is our broken one from the last DLC. And then we have our Gwent collect them all, which I missed something somewhere, a few of them, but um, I don't really care about that. And then two racing quests. I hate racing, you guys know that. Uh, due to my blind condition, it's really hard for me to race on the horse in this game because you have to be pretty perfect to win and I, I could probably do them and then fail them out and then they'll get out of there, but I don't really care. So, anyways, uh, here's the quest. And we're here in the village. Uh, per normal, according to the map, this is where we are. 
So let's do this. It's been a great game. I can't wait to do this on New Game Plus. On oh my god, I keep remembering things to show you guys. There you go, Death March. I like the challenge of Death March. It's just a lot more damage you take, a lot more. And there's a lot more health on the enemies. I tried this on easy on another game. It, it's so easy. It's just like, if I was as geared as I am right now, we would just, it wouldn't even be fun. We'd just be like walking into them and they just drop. Come now, sir, toss us a coin. So we gotta find the, uh, oh, the boot black guy. Boot blacks don't usually work nights. Need to come back during the day. I am here during the day. Come on, Geralt. What time is, oh. I guess it was almost night time. So how would you explain it? Whether it pours for a week or the sun bakes our pates, we've always mud up to our ankles here. You can't blame me for Beauclair's fickle weather. Fickle weather? I've seen you. You empty your chamber pot in front of our shop each morn, so folks will dirty their boots go to you to get them cleaned. A far-fetched conspiracy theory, sirs. I'll conspire to welt your bum with my belt. Come here. Leave him alone. Just who the spit are you? Hmm. His father... I like the Witcher. A Witcher. And I'd advise you to go back where you came from. I thought Witchers defend men from monsters, not cheats from justice. Need to talk to the boy. You can chat to him all you like. After we tan his hide. So stand down. Not gonna happen. Won't it? Well, then we'll thrash you as well. Which is all the same to me. Oh, back to the corner there. Oh. My goodness. I enjoy a good bad fortune. Get me out of there. Come on, come closer. <laughs> cornered. One down. Just the fists when you're cornered like that. <laughs> it just sucks. What's the meaning of this? The brawl? Who started it? I'm investigating the beast on the Duchess's orders. Ah, yes. We've heard of you. And these men. What are they doing? Obstructing my investigation. Understood. Right. A few days in the clink ought to teach them not to impede <laughs> official touchy business. Come on. Justice. That's what you get for picking on kids. Even though he probably is guilty. You can't go You're around very beating good children. With your fist, sir. Wouldn't be looking for work, would you? We'd make a fine duo. Listen, I'm interested in a certain gentleman. Oh, wait, wait! Before we get to talking, please, take a seat. But my boots are clean. In this city, no boots are clean unless they just come off my stamped. A seat, sir, please. Mm. 
So then, who was it you wanted to ask about? One of your patrons. Tall, elegant black frock. Not from around here. An arrival? Hmm, indeed. I hear a faint bell ringing. A modest sum might make it sing out loud and clear. How much? Let's say... 500 crowns. 500? You gotta be kidding me. What would you even do with that kind of coin? Expand my venture. I'm sure you can imagine. Have a proper stand with a big sign. I want a new box too. New polishes, new brushes. And if I've enough coin left, I'll buy a share in a launderer's. Get wastewater for free. Hmm. <laughs> Got it all planned out. I should think so. Capital is all I require. Uh, I can't axe him since I'm not a mage anymore. All right. Let's see if we can't figure something out. Yeah, let's just give it to him. Ah, see? I knew we'd clinch it. Guess I can agree to that. A thousand thanks. I shan't forget it. Now to the matter at hand. I know the fellow you seek, though I don't know his name. A steady patron. Gets his boots cleaned every few days. He's very good to me. Always pays me a premium. Know where I might find him? No. But you could wait here. Perhaps he'll stop by. Don't have the time for that. Sure you don't know where to find him? Or maybe notice which direction he came from? When I clean boots, sir, I do not look up to see where folk come from. I clean. It seems you're having a rough go of it. Oh, you're here. Feeling better? I am, thank you. The local necropolis. The air does wonders for them. Now, if I might intercede, I dare say I've the right question to ask. Young man, you see this bile? One drop added to your boot polish will help you wipe even the most encrusted boot clean as the dome of St. Lebioda's Cathedral. With it, you will serve three times as many patrons at a fraction of the effort, and piles more coin. I'm prepared to give you this vial if you tell me where the man we seek lives. Uh, but you won't hurt him, will you? The gentleman's art, true, but he's kind. In point of fact, he's a friend. Yet we had a falling out of sorts and would like to straighten matters out. I leave his boots at the door of a house near the port. The door is red. But I do not know if the gentleman lives there. Worth checking. Might happen on a lead. Would you let me scrape the dirt off your kickers before you go? With all due respect, sirs, your boots could stand a cleaning. Thank you. Perhaps later. It would have been bad if they... If it shattered on the ground. Pretty well. Finding the right approach. Let's go ahead and quickly do our decoctions again. Alright, we're done with our decoctions. That's the trick to dealing with children. Mm, yeah, saw that. Meaning, the right thing to bribe them with. I also increased my uh, potion overdose, too. I don't know if that's going to help. If I'm going to start using more. I'm hoping, because I don't have much room for toxicity. Yeah, door. One that Boot Black mentioned. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, there's crows. That's what vampires use. Either they're Regis's or this guy's. Won't budge. Gotta break it down. You might just as well stand out in the street, pound on a drum and holler, Detlaf, I'm coming for you. A bit more finesse, I implore you. Let's hear your idea. Give me a moment. Well, that's handy. Nice. Ever consider becoming a burglar? A skill like that would come in awful handy. I considered it briefly, but ultimately concluded it would be terribly dull. Come. That would be awesome, turning into mist and just kind of going wherever you want. Ooh, cutscene. Children's toys. 
be here. Sense him. No, he's not here, but he was here recently. His scent is still strong. Let's look around. <laughs> All the toys hanging. Eh, that's creepy. Alright guys, before we get too far into it, I'm going to try to be good and uh, end the video here. And next video, we're going to go ahead and uh, do this again. Well, why the hell? Well, I'll look at it after. It looks like I got... Something's going on, either my... I don't know what happened. Looks like I have... My uh, armor and grindstone buffs went away. That's odd. I'll have to uh, re-up that, but um, that can wait. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. And I hope to see you next video and many more to come. If you haven't been to my channel yet, please check it out. Stop running into me, Regis. Damn. Um, <laughs> if you'd like what you see, click the subscribe button and uh, join the channel family. Love to have you as the channel is starting to grow slowly. And until next time, guys, as always, later.